Oh yes, I forgot just one more thing. Pardon me. At the close of the videos exemplifying my theatrical presentational work, you will find silence. That silence is going to have the credits run for you, okay? It's going to be maybe a minute or so. If you can get past that stage of this YouTube video, all right, with all my raw cuts, after these credits, there will be the immaculate slideshow presentation. And I got to say that it is a total honor to share it with you. Mimi, darling, we've got to get you going. Why are you taking a shower? George, you don't know what it takes to being a girl. It's not easy living with that sucker. I'm ready. <laughs> you are going to wear that. I think I can rock this. You look like a tramp. You aged bastard lush. Mimi. I need you. What, to be your designated driver? No, no, no. You are my light. You are the bubble in my bubblegum, my princess. I love you. I want us to be the talk of the town. I have the tickets for us, darling. I've been looking forward to this match. We have a personal invitation by the royal family to spend time with them. They love us because we have Santa Barbara right where we need to have them. And you, my darling, are ruining these arrangements for me. I can't believe what you're doing to me. I have these tickets for us. There are VIP tickets, my darling. And look at you, ruining what has been established because of me. You married me, and you have great things happening because of me. mad at you. Mimi, I don't care if it's your birthday. I need you to get ready now! Mimi, I need you to show me some good old-fashioned respect. I want to know... Mimi? Mimi, you did not get me my tobacco when you went into town today. That damn... And no cigar. I want to know if she uh, redid my... Yeah. She's in a lot of trouble. She's in a lot of trouble. She knows I'm a stickler for my Louis Vuitton smoking kit. 
she knows. Mimi? Get at Mimi, I hear the shower. Mimi? Talk to me, Mimi. and find a wall. I told you that you've got to be putting up our celebrity pictures. Why didn't you put up Alan Bates from the UK? Why didn't you put up Mr. Rogers? Why didn't you put up Ricky Lake? Oh my God, and Phyllis Diller, and Elizabeth Taylor. Mimi, I want you to come out here right now, and I want you to show me what you're wearing. Phyllis Diller and Elizabeth Taylor! Mimi, I want you to come out here right now and I want you to show me what you're wearing. want us to be the talk of the town. I have the tickets for us, darling. I've been looking forward to this match. We have a personal invitation by the royal family to spend time with them. They love us because we have Santa Barbara right where we need to have them. And you, my darling, are ruining these arrangements for me. I can't believe what you're doing to me. I have these tickets for us. There are VIP tickets, my darling. And look at you, ruining what has been established because of me. You married me, and you have great things happening because of me. mad at you. Mimi, I don't care if it's your birthday. I need you to get ready now! Mimi, I need you to show me some good old-fashioned respect. I want to know... Mimi? Mimi, you did not get me my tobacco when you went into town today. That damn... And no cigar? I want to know if she uh, redid my... Yeah. She's in a lot of trouble. She's in a lot of trouble. She knows I'm a stickler for my Louis Vuitton smoking kit. She knows. Mimi? Get at Mimi, I hear the shower. Mimi? Talk to me, Mimi.
these? My darling, you've got to be kidding me. They're filthy. Look how dirty this is. Your lady friends can't be seen with this in the polo grounds. What? Are you serious? I asked you, Mimi, to please, for God's sake, hang up our celebrity pictures. We need to make a great impression for our friends. Oh my God. Mm. I don't care, darling, if you couldn't find a wall. I told you that you've got to be putting up our celebrity pictures. Why didn't you put up Alan Bates from the UK? Why didn't you put up Mr. Rogers? Why didn't you put up Ricky Lake? Oh my God, and Phyllis Diller, and Elizabeth Taylor. Mimi, I want you to come out here right now, and I want you to show me what you're wearing. <gasps> Phyllis Diller, and Elizabeth Taylor. Mimi. I want you to come out here right now, and I want you to show me what you're wearing. Mimi, darling, we've got to get you going. We have a very wonderful day today at the polo grounds. Darling! Darling, you, you drive me to drink. My love. Mimi! You did not get me my tobacco when you went into town today. That damn... And no cigar? Oh. George, stop barking! Our neighbors are going to listen to us in the Lower Riviera. You listen up, you sucker. If you don't stop, I'm going to throw your choke collar on you. I'm going to basically put a leash around that sucker neck and I'm going to drag you to San Francisco and I'm going to dump you off in the couch with all the homosexuals and I'm going to tie you to that street lamp at, at Market Street and Catcher and they're going to rape your ass. She knows I'm a stickler for my Louis Vuitton smoking kit. She knows Mimi? Get at Mimi, I hear the shower. What? Are you serious? I asked you, Mimi, to please, for God's sake, hang up our celebrity pictures. We need to make a great impression for our friends. Man of mine. Oh. Oh. I love the pearls that he bought me. But I tell you, it's not easy. Oh my god! Mm. I don't care, darling, if you couldn't find a wall. I told you that you've got to be putting up our celebrity pictures. Why didn't you put- Living with that sucker, with his drug and alcohol abuse, with all the changes I've been through politically and- Put up Alan Bates from the UK! Why didn't you put up Mr. Rogers? Why didn't you put up Ricky- Religiously and, oh, medically. It's hard to stay a lady. Lake! Oh my god, and Phyllis Diller, and Elizabeth- Lady, I am not an underclass citizen, and that man, I tell you, <gasps> Taylor! Mimi? He makes me perspire. Oh, it's time to go. And visit the royal family. Mwah. Oh, George. You are such a narcissistic, bipolar, 
homosexual and just go take your medication. I mean, really, I mean, the walls are completely full of all your self-promotion and what really agitates Mama Sita is these modeling portrait supplementations and you're just a needy attention whore. Not to mention those little houseboys that have moved in before I came in. They wouldn't even take down your modeling pictures because you have all the money and they just bow down to you and I don't. I stand up to you, George. You know those boys in Rich Bag America. I'm here because I love you. And another thing, those celebrity pictures. George, look at me now, sweetheart. I am the real star in the flesh. are going to wear that. Look at yourself. You look like a tramp. Oh, I know. I know you I know what you're after. You're after Prince Charles, aren't you? We're here to be happy for you to say those types of comments. I know, honey. I feel so guilty, George. Well, darling, it looks like Mimi, babe. You're a star. Oh, George, I want to give this photography and I want to sign it with my Mark a -Lot pen. There's some more of my... Hello! <gasps> oh, my. My fan base is in front of me. I know that they want me to sign my beautiful celebrity picture. Mimi, they're not here for your photography. Want to trim your bush. What? Oh, I don't think so. I think they want to literally, most definitely, mow your lawn. Oh. Thank you, Bailey. Thank you. It's so beautiful to be alive. Thank you, Bailey. Your photos, Mom. Oh, yes, I see the public. Hello. Yes, I'll get you. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, love. Bitch. Yes? Okay. Oh, uh, yes. Bitch. Oh, yes. Uh, Bailey. What a good trooper. Prince of Wales. <laughs> the Royal Highness. Welcome to our town. It is lovely. I have a garden party for you and some croquet as well afterwards. Splendid. It is my best sport after polo. Oh, yes. Well, in the meantime, why don't we bid on a couple of horses? Lovely. I tell you, with Mimi, I love the good life. Thank God for Wall Street. I love Wall Street. I don't think they should be occupied at all. <laughs> Eight to seven with just over six minutes left in the final chapter. Jake Clinton is hooked out of there by... Mimi wanted to take it home last year, but I says, no, that's going to be a winning horse for us. Can you clean this? George, you don't have to give so much personal information to Prince Charles. <laughs> You're so beautiful. So what do you think? Are you impressed, Prince Charles? Oh, yeah. Gracious of you. It is lovely. 
Prince Charles, my royal highness, would you like a champagne grape now? Wonderful. You know, I would love to show you around. They love my champagne grapes. <laughs> I have no idea I want to go to bed with them. <laughs> I'm not homosexual. <laughs> Mimi doesn't care. <laughs> we have an open relationship. And we're swingers. <laughs> Do you want champagne grapes? Do you want champagne grapes? Yeah. Sure that everybody's on their side. And there we go. Ball is in. I don't want you to cheat with Prince Charles. I know you're attracted to him, but I love you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the beautiful horses, darling. Mimi, you know I'll do anything for you. You know I love you. And I know you want to marry me because I have money. Well, you know what? I don't care. Because I love the way you spend my money. You're the one that bought the membership tickets to the Santa Barbara Polo and Racket Club this season. It's all because of you. My life has opened up. Thank you so much. But I have one thing. I'll let you spend my money if you start taking me to white trash AA meetings. Thank you so much. George, that woman over there! That tramp! She looks just like you! Oh, that woman working the street corner! She's not a tramp! It's high society and she looks just like me, George! It's kind of funny, Mimi, because the tramp, Charlie Chaplin's famous movie, and, and you know, she's, she's right in front of Charlie Chaplin. Thank you. It's so beautiful to be alive. Ready, Mimi? Action! I'm so lonely. Kitty. All the time. Ah. <sighs> May I offer you some more hot tea with some dripping honey to make you really small to go into the wonderland? Oh! Oh! Oh, I love being a little girl! Oh, I love being a little girl! Oh! That's all, folks. Bitch.